This tutorial is part of a playlist specifically designed for people that have never used VTube Studio before. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install VTube Studio. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to open your internet browser. And you're going to need to Google Steam Game Client. If you have Steam already installed, then you don't need to do this step. Um, Steam is used for games on the PC. Um, there's a store. Um, it's a big fancy thing that makes organizing your games on your computer easier. Um, this is the only way to get access to um, VTube Studio on the PC. There is also an app for, um, I believe, Android and Apple phones, but I've only ever used it from the PC, so I don't know how to help with the um, use of it from a phone. Um, but you'll just need to click Install Steam, and then it will download a, a file that's called steam.exe. So you'll just go to your downloads, and you'll run that Steam, that Steam setup file, this one. It'll ask you, um, do you want to allow uh, Steam to make changes on your computer? You can go ahead and say yes, and you'll run through this startup client, specify the language, um, and specify where you're going to install it. By default, it will install in your main C drive, program files, 86, Steam. Um, and then you'll click install and let it install from there. Once Steam is installed on your computer, Steam, um, you'll have to create an account. Um, so go through that process as usual. And then now that you have Steam installed on your computer, you can go to the store. And you're going to want to search VTube Studio. This one. And you'll download this one. Um, VTube Studio only comes with a default mod model, which I think is this character here. Um, so any other models you see are models that people have commissioned or bought or made themselves. Um, so you'll install VTube Studio um, to your computer. Um, once it's installed, you'll go to Library, and it'll show up under Software, or if you need to, you can search specifically for VTube Studio. And you can get that bad boy running. Um, and another thing you should keep in mind is um, you, when you're adding new models to VTube Studio, you want to know where your VTube Studio files got installed. The easiest way to find that is by right-clicking, go to Manage, and then go to Browse Local Files. This will open um, the VTube Studio like software where it's installed. Um, and this is information that's going to be relevant for when you're actually putting your model in VTube Studio. But let me go ahead and open VTube Studio so you can see what it looks like. OK, so VTube Studio is opening. Let's see. Um, by default, it's going to be in a full screen mode. Um, if you need to change that, you can go to the settings somewhere. Oh, it's been so long. Oh, here. You click the gear icon and then do toggle full screen. That will let you make it into a window. Um, so that's pretty handy. Um, but you'll notice that VTube Studio loads without any model in it. Um, I need to press this X button. Let me actually make my little VTube window a little smaller so you can see it. Um, I'll need to close this X button. And double tap screen to show menu. Um, this icon here is where uh, your models will load. Um, so you'll need to check the next tutorial on where to install those model files so that you'll actually be able to use the model in VTube Studio.